But um, I have a question. So the church fathers wouldn't um the church fathers didn't they um create the Bible? Like didn't they add um which books are allowed to be in the Bible? Well, let us say the church fathers they are not adding books; they are guardian to books. So they receive books; they keep the books. That's all. They are not uh, uh you know uh, uh adding books. And then there's books they wrote themselves. Uh, those books is considered books of tradition. We don't say those are the holy book. We say those are book of tradition, which means the tradition of the church fathers. And we learn from them what they go through. However, the Bible for us is what the disciples of Jesus said, did according to the Messiah. Otherwise, the rest is just books of tradition. So if the books of tradition disappear, let's say we don't have them. It doesn't matter. They will not change anything. For the book of tradition, it's just books to explain the life, the experience. Like now, you know, uh, Christians asking me a question. Let us say I was, and I'm not qualified to be a church father in any way, any mean, but let us say I was exist at that time, and I am uh, among uh, uh, 80 years old, 90 years old, I spend my life serving the community, teaching the Bible, and then somebody asked me for an answer. And then these questions I received, and the question uh, and the answer I gave, they put it in a book. That's wonderful, because those people, they are more close to, to the church at that time from us. We are 2,000 years after. So the disciples are more close to Jesus. So we learn, they learn from the disciple. We learn from them and from the disciple, and you learn from me, and then you teach your kids. So this is very normal. We are a society. We are not individuals only.